so I wanted to make this quick video because uh, not this quick video, but I'm doing my usual back testing, you know, and this uh, this pattern here I have circled is something I've been noticing a lot on GJ, and um, it seems to be playing out pretty well, right? So essentially, what it is 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 th this is an instant of it here, and this is another instant of it here. Okay, so essentially, what it is is it would be price in a let's say a downtrend, right? So I draw the trend line, and this is usually happen like let's say uh, a little trace bit, so to speak, right? This is more so of a trace. This is this well. This is the way. Oh wow! I just think I just came up with something that's not. So usually, as I've been trading, I've, I'm like have issues in actually like trying to find uh the proper way to know that um basically the tracement cycle has end ended right so this is kind of a, a way now that I'm thinking about it because this move right here is essentially retracement on the four hour right see four hours bullish right as you can see we have high low higher high and this move down here is putting in its higher low okay so on as we scroll down on the lower time frames we'd see that so price was it put in this move right here so i just i just love connecting these i don't know why right so you put in this move right here right which is excuse me which is a, a downtrend on 30 minute time frame Probably even more on the 15, but since this is 2019 data, as far as I can go, it's a 30 minute on the replay tool. Okay. So this happened, this occurred. Asian says you can see Asian did all of this, started to like, Asian started to uh, not be able to break this demand zone, <coughs> aka support. So this is the first sign that price is basically done with its retracement cycle slash starting to make some sort of bullish move or continuous bullish momentum right so the first sign would be fail to break support engulfing candle off support and then price just pushing up and up and up and up and up and up and up right so but what that's all fine and done and I, I won't do anything until this trend line right here which i which i see is acting as some type of barrier to bullish move continue it Right, and I know I know what you're saying. I, I just say the same thing. It's just a line that you, that you drew personally on the chart, right? This is true. This is very true. Which, which is why you shouldn't put a hundred percent in just um a trade blindly off of this a uh, price break in this this downtrend line, right? But understand how strong this downtrend line is because as you can see here, price tapped, respected, 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 right? So, this is clearly some strong resistance right here. You feel me? So, the fact that price broke it here and continued up putting in a new higher high right here. Because, see, this is hiding here, right? So, that's a new higher high, right? It's a great sign for, for of, um, it's building a good case for bulls entering the market, okay? This all happened, at, and this happened during London session. As you can see it up around 3.30, London opens at 3 o'clock, okay? So this occurred, right? So now, you could enter here, but me, nah, I'm, I'm, this year I'm taking a more disciplined, more patient, more more confirmation approach to my trades, okay? If I miss them, I hate missing trades, but it's something I'm going to have to get used to because forcing a trade is not the wave, bro, okay? And that's, Personally, I feel like that's the one thing that's been holding my trading career back because I've been, I would take a great trade, then I'd force the next trade, or I get mad because I didn't get enough pips out of that trade, and I'd over trade. You feel me? I really, really, really feel like over trading and not being disciplined is what's causing me in my trading career. So this year and on this channel, as I will be documenting my trading journey, you would notice that I've, uh, well, I like to hold myself accountable. I recorded myself, right? And not taking, not over trading, not over risking, and not being non patient and being disciplined. Okay, those are four values that I'm gonna hold very much. Hold myself, hold my, 
So the four values that stand this, I'm gonna hold myself to very hard, harshly to this year. You feel me? And I hope that, and I hope, but but I personally feel that by doing that, my trading career would at least, I would at least start to be able to extract a bigger profit from the markets consistently. You feel me? Consistently, because, man. Anyway, let's not, let's not get into that, okay? So anyway, so this occurred, and like I said, I'm waiting for some sort of retest, right? The retest occurred down here at 5.30, right? Now, personally, this day, excuse me, personally, this little move here is not enough for me to get in, Okay? I would have to get in after I seen. Or I would have liked to have gotten in after I saw. If I'm if I'm live watching this market, after I would have seen price did this right here. Reason being is because these candles. If I was to go to let's say a forty five minute, let's see if I can add a forty five minute on here. Yeah, forty five minute. Right. If I was to go to forty five minutes, you can see, right here. Price essentially well, in Q's training because I I I've, I've I'm somewhat of a descending of Q Bank's knowledge because I took his course. He would call this as it would be entry, an entry signal for him, and he would call this a bullish variation, right, right here. Simply because these two candles. Also, this is another form of engulfing candles because these two candles make up if I was to go to the one hour I'm sure you would see that right this essentially engulf this area right here okay so that's that's a good thing to look at and like I said that's that's the makeup of these candles right here they engulf this but they engulf this bearish candle here which is a good sign that price is ready to go okay so yeah so I would have done that put my stops probably somewhere below here which is pretty pretty it's a lot right that's a lot so you probably could have got in somewhere on this candle on the 15 minute if you're looking for a lower a lower stop or you probably could have put your buy here and then put your stops below here right which is still like 40 some pips right but 40 some pips in comparison to or actually let's use Q's Q's method of finding a stop loss, right? So you put this here, the entry above here. So down, he would he would put his stops like below here. That's a lot, right? So for the move like that, is it a lot? It's a lot. <laughs> that is a lot. Okay, but yeah. And, but anyway, the main point of this is, because I actually was back testing and I did this move right here, and it played out, right? But my main thing was focusing on, after the break of this momentum, and you, you get our retracement, bam, to the upside. You feel me? I'm sure, I'm, I'm going to look for more examples for the, uh, for in the, in the sell direction as well, okay? But anyway, this is another example, this is when I just finished back testing. That shows basically price doing the same thing, basically having the same move of this bearish, this bearish retracement. After the break of this this um bearish trend line, we saw that price continued in this in this desired direction. Now, so I just want to show you that we're still in the uptrend because, as you can see here, price continued this uptrend. Remember, all of this was a four-hour move, four-hour move to the downside, right? The four moved it upside, higher low, bam. Price did this, putting the higher high, right? Because we broke out higher high, now I put in the higher low. So now that we're at the higher low, that's where we're at now. This is the higher low here, right? Price did this. Let me draw it out for you. Price came here, did this, came down, came up, came down, came. Right? See that? That's what price did. Okay? So anyway. I'm seeing this and I'm, notice, I'm noticing, wow, this looks like the same exact setup that took place over here. It's in a more smaller pinched up version, right? Because why? This occurred at a higher low. This is occurring at a higher low. So now, with that in mind, this is giving me confluence that, okay, if we could get some bullish activity, right? 
we can get some bullish activity and this could continue up this is a good sign that price is ready to continue with the bulls in the bullish trend okay so after saying that and, I, and seeing this like i said i wait for price to break and then i did this right so as price was forming it was up at this right and at two o'clock in the morning i waited for this retracement right here right here you see that waiting for that retracement right there but honestly i think this is what i didn't got in after here because i did this and i think i put yeah i put this above here above the actual price because this happened i saw a break right and then i saw this this is uh, this is technically a retracement because as it go to a 50 minute time frame, you see even better right but just retrace it here so then I, then I put in this so what i do is i put my this above here so now this is essentially a buy stop right by putting the buy stop i'm allowing price if it, if it does want to go it's going to enter me into the trade which happened right here in this candle right here this candle right here as you can see push past here and enter me into the trade right not my stop loss i put my stop loss it's kind of big but i put it below here basically below this area right here okay so that means if i've, I've tried if it breaks this way then price can either be a retesting support which is annoying as hell or it could be want to continue to go down some more and actually come down here so this is what i want to protect against i do not want to come all the way down here so i put my stop there okay so as you can see though price did another retracement and then it continued up and yeah price just went up and up and up and up and up and up and up this right here is like me trailing my stop okay and as you can see price they never tapped it it just bam broke through and clapped my tp so that's just a quick video of something of a, a pattern that i've started to notice on on the charts and i really want to something i'm going to pay attention to a lot more and hopefully this could be a pattern that if you back test and you if you find some results that it is proving to be high pro highly profitable drop a like drop a like button and uh yeah man let's continue to strive and grow on this trading journey together play telly out